Welcome back to Trusted Nose with the man that likes to smoke it. I hope you're well, in good health, and of course, smelling great, smelling tanta, noisy, just smelling. So, we got Matea Premier's Oud 7, Harrods exclusive new release. Quick review. Let's go. The Oud 7 came out 2021. The nose behind this in house perfumer, Aurelian Guchard, and his initial idea for Oud 7 was to refine precious as Sam Oud shaping with seven facets. So, these seven facets are Haitian vetiver, Indonesian patchouli leaf, labdanum, violet leaf, cypriot oil, amber, and tobacco. So, onto the review. And you know, I like to break it down here. So, you know the drill on my nose and skin. Oud 7 opens up with that real Bangladeshi Assam Oud, yeah? Real, like real authentic. It's kind of got this alemanic feel to it, but it's not funky, it's not skanky. It's just got that animalic like strength. So if you're used to Western designers, this could put you off, but bear with me, yeah? Bear with the fragrance. So after that, you get this sweetness, and that's coming from the amber, but it's almost like a citrus sweetness. And the sweetness here is almost or oh, it's reminiscent to incense suave. So you get the incense suave sweetness, and then you get this like, like thick leather, earthy ashiness. So the leather is coming from the labdanum, the earthy bitterness is coming from the patchouli, and that ashiness is coming from the tobacco. And that's literally what you get with the fragrance. So let me boil it down a little bit more, because you know that's what I like to do. So for all of those that, all of you that have smoked incense while before, literally you're gonna get that sweetness paired with a leather scent and like the glue that's holding it together is that real Bangladeshi Assam Oud. And that's what you get with this fragrance. Very unique, very bold, but also very, very, very sexy. Let me go onto the performance. So, you know with Matea Premier, they always use like the best quality materials or whatever. So the performance now, so it lasts a long, long time, like over 12 hours on my skin, which is fantastic. Projection now, projection is not as good as the longevity. So projection, I would say it projects for like an hour, maybe an hour or two, but it's mainly that longevity, that's, that, that's the main like star of this. You get good CRs with it as well. Of course, like above average, so decent CR, decent projection, good performer. I wouldn't say beast mode, but obviously this also like depends on your sprays. But moderate amount of sprays, let's say, I don't know, like five sprays, decent, decent, decent projection, decent performance. Let me go on to people's reactions. So, as I've always said on this channel, like leather, it's a, it's a hit or miss note for the masses. So they either like it or they hate it. And oud as well, in particular, this type of oud, this animalic oud, it's not for everyone. So that's hit and miss too. So when I've done my market research, you know I like to do market research when it comes to me making these videos. Um, so they liked it in the air, they liked it on me, but when I gave them the bottle to smell, to put up to their nose, they were just like, oh, like it's, it's too much leather, it's too much oud. But it works in my opinion. It's a good smelling fragrance. Let me go on to like seasons, where to wear, whatever occasions. So if I'm being lazy, I'll just say this is like a cold weather fragrance, but this is more of a situational fragrance. So let me explain that a little bit more. So this is more for like evening wear. It's more for if you just wanna, not really make a statement, but if you just wanna have like a nice presence about you, it's got that sexiness too. So I'll say like, you can wear it when you're like dressing up or when you're going to like dinner or stuff like that. I wouldn't say this is for everyday use, but you can get away with it for your signature scent, because I have worn it in the high heat as it's been like hot in London recently and it has worked, like, it's got more of that sweetness. But it's mainly suited for those like special occasions in my opinion. And the price point kind of links to that as well. So the price point now, typical Matea Premier price point, obviously because of the quality of the, the ingredients that they're using. So it was like 190 pounds at Harrods. Remember I told you it's a Harrods exclusive. So uh, yeah. But overall, with this fragrance, when I first tried it, I was a little bit like, mm, like I liked it, but I wasn't like, Oof. but it's a grower. So 
now that I'm wearing it more, 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 more now, thinking, bro, like, man, that's good juice. I like that. So it's vastly like becoming like one of my favorites from the houses. I need to go back to all my other samples. I need to go back to my bottle, Santa Austral. But this might be, this is top two and it may not be two. But let me not, let me not talk too much yet. Yeah, let me just let it simmer down. Let me hold the bottle for a month. But right now it's top two. That with um, Santa Austral. So I'll say number two at the moment, but it has potential to be number one because I'm really, really, really enjoying it. Unique fragrance. Try and get a nose on it. How is it exclusive? So, if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It'll be much appreciated. Also, follow me on Instagram, trusted underscore nose. And you know what I'm going to say. More videos out soon. And of course, stay blessed.